it's almost a defense mechanism that, that kids, again, when they're, when they're from a tough environment, uh, if you look at them a certain way, uh, they feel almost disrespected. And so, yeah, we, we see a lot of that. And again, that's where the Boys and Girls Club being a sanctuary, being that safe place where they know those rules don't apply here. Um, and they also know that every time they come in this door, they are welcome and they belong. And that staff are going to be smiling and are going to be laughing and they're going to be saying, hey, how was your day today? And there's going to be a constant positive engagement that can just help break that, that cycle um, where they often get sort of caught up. The kids that we work with uh, many times uh, because of where they're from uh, are sort of emotionally amped up a lot. And this is a place where they can come and uh, let their hair down if a bald guy is allowed to say, <laughs> to say that. But come and relax and not have to worry about being so emotionally ramped up because they're safe and they're protected here. One of the roots of, of kids getting into trouble is hopelessness. And the streets are often hopeless. I mean, I work with a lot of kids who the first time I meet them, they don't have, they don't anticipate, not only not graduating from high school, they don't anticipate being alive at 18 or 19 years old. And so the most valuable thing that we can do as a society is provide access to hope to these young people. And a safe place like the Boys and Girls Club or any community center like that is the beginning of that hope. Because when you walk in the door here, uh, you're taught right away that you can be somebody and that no matter what your circumstances are right now, you can make it in life. And you have to work hard in school, but we're going to be right here with you, holding your hand if we have to. Once a kid is provided that access to hope, their choices will start to change. Their self-esteem will go up and their lives will become better. And, uh, and moving forward, they'll be successful adults. And I, I think that we are obligated as a society to keep places like this open until 9.30 at night, five days a week, so that kids have a safe place to come and learn and grow uh, into you know, being productive adult members of society.